this a flashlight? Holy oh, crap, guys. Hello, friends. Welcome to Friday Night Files. Tonight, we are playing a game called Cry of Fear. It was one of my subscribers that suggested me to play this game. So we are playing it. So I think this game was first created as a mod for Half-Life 1 so I guess that the, the graphics will be pretty outdated since this game came out in 2013 a little bit about the game Cry of Fear is a psychological single player and co-op horror game set in a deserted town filled with horrific creatures and nightmarish delusions you play as a young man desperately searching for answers in the cold Scandinavia night, finding his way through the city as he slowly descends into madness. Now, without further ado, let's press a new game. I think we'll start on medium difficulty. Hopefully I can do something about the screen resolution so we don't have these black borders. We'll see when we get into the game. See what we can do. Introduction. I've always felt alone. My whole life. For as long as I can remember. I don't know if I like it. Or, or if I'm just used to it. But I do know this. Being lonely does things to you. Feeling shit bitter and angry all the time just eats away at you mm -hmm. I feel you so this is an 8 hour long campaign I believe so we'll do it in a couple of parts you know Andreas Renberg. So that we are in a Scandinavian city. And I think that first name that sounded Swedish. I think we're in Sweden. Stig Sydtanken. You're right there, Mary. Oh. Oh no. My chair is falling apart. Cry of fear. It's gonna be awesome, guys. Half-Life was an epic game. All of them, you know? But this is not Half-Life. This is now made as a standalone game. Very slow intro, you know, to the game. Come on now.
Told you, graphics gonna be outdated. <laughs> but it has its charm, you know? Holy crap. We dead? Who wants us dead? What's going on? Take the camera. Alright. Hey, it's Half Life. What's going on here? Let's see if we can do anything about the screen resolution. This is as high as it can be. Uh, see if we can fill it out somehow. That didn't help much. <laughs> God damn it. My screen is uh, a 2060 1440, you know? we can't have that. 5 I think this might be the best I can do. Sorry guys, you'll, you'll have to do with the black bars. Go to the X. Hello? Just go to the X's and take pictures. That was a body. Yeah. Jump down here maybe? I have no clue what's going on. Here. We jump through here? I don't know. It's a hanging man. Can we get through here? Doesn't look like it. We have to get through there somehow. There's no other way. Oh, there we go. Hello? What's going on? Da here? I didn't get to read that. Hello? A flashlight? Ah! <laughs> Holy crap, guys. Scared the shit out of me, man. <laughs> I love these games. They scare me shitless. Creepy alley. How did I get here? I don't know. An old Nokia 3010. Or 3310. Yeah. I guess there was a Nokia 3010 as well, right? I don't remember. So long time ago. 
Chapter 1. Lost in a city. Okay. Let me check something here. We are recording alright. Ready then. We have a knife. We can hold it like this and like this. Is this if we want to stab someone? I don't know what what's better. Ta press tab to access your inventory. We have our mobile phone. Simon's mobile phone. Phone screen can be accessed by selecting the use option. You also have a nice use. There's no use. Equip. Maybe. Where are you? Come as soon as possible. It's getting dark. That's from mom. Oh, we have a flashlight on this thing. Can we quick select the knife? No? Phone. Press it on quick one. And now we can switch between them, yeah? Yep. Why do you run so fast? <laughs> Got them running sneakers on. Yeah. Huh? What was that? I don't know. I didn't see anything. I'll shift to sprint. The blue bar on the HUD is your stamina. Sprint? I thought we were already sprinting, you know? <laughs> stamina slowly recover while not sprinting or jumping. Crouching recovers faster. Alright. Find a code to the padlock. I do that. Uh, cancel. See if I can find a code somewhere. What did it say? Press B to... Ah, to view our objectives, okay. Do I want budge? Do I want budge? Hello? Do you find any code written on the wall or something? I don't know. Can we jump up here? <laughs> nope. Okay. Oh, hello. Don't scare me. Scary son of a bitch. Mobile phone can be used as source of light for navigating dark areas. Press mouse one to activate your light. The mobile light does not require batteries. That's good. If you holster your mobile with the light on, a dim light will shine through your bag. Okay. So we take one. Uh, is the light on now? It is. How do we holster it then? Just like so. But the bag must be behind, so what does that help? Oh no, we have a side bag, yeah? That's not a backpack. Hello? Can we save the game? No, so I think there's only auto saves, I suppose. Where are we going, guys? Where do we want to go? Where do we need to go? A blind tally. I'll never find my way back to that door with the padlock. <laughs> Hello? Anyone here? 
So I guess we are supposed to find out what the hell is going on. Mm -hmm. We destroy these? No. I don't know why I would want to. But had to try, right? Computer work? It does. Admin. Admin. <laughs> See if that works. No. Damn it. Okay. Can we find code or password for this? Guess not. There's not much going on in here. Ah, I see. We have the flashlight. Can we can't get behind here. How are you guys getting in there? Okay, I don't know. There are a couple of doors behind there, but... I can't... I can't get in there. Marriage in April. Okay. Marriage in April. Marriage in April. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. What we can use that for. Marriage in April. Maybe we've jumped the gun a little. Maybe we're not supposed to be here yet. Marriage in April. Hey! Happy Halloween! Can I try this door? Yep. gone this way yet. Okay, this is just the same alley we came from. So we're supposed to find code for that padlock. Sure, we can't jump up here. Can we move this or something? Look in it, no? Can't you grab the ledge here? No? Okay. Can't be done. Oh, this is where the padlock is, yeah, okay. Hmm. Where the hell do we find the padlock coat? Better light like this. Must be written somewhere, right? Eh? Oh, These are not digits. Can we grab this and use it to jump up here. That would be awesome. 
What? <laughs> ah, if I double tap, it does weird stuff. <laughs> Where the hell? You find the padlock code. Back out here. Yay. I haven't seen any ditches anywhere. Only clue we have is marriage in April. What that means, I have no clue. A blind road, blind alley. Last plots must be something in here, right? We get thrown out again. Okay. So what? This. Oh, cafe comp one. Username. Password. <laughs> oh, damn it. Fourteen. Does that mean anything? nothing we can read here or something no notes hmm. yes. really nothing I can do in here except playing with that computer you know try to Guess a password. Oh, we have a note here. Confuse Deucer. Okay, is that maybe the you know password and username? Confuse Deucer. And marriage in April. If those works, confuse do sir. <laughs> so username confuse do sir and marriage in April. How smart am I, man? Jill, 1973, David. So is this maybe the padlock code? 1973? Jill and David. So I can't press anything, so I guess it's that 19... 1973. Okay. See if that's the padlock code. That's oh, down here, right? Sprint! <sighs> Maybe we should take out our knife. Be ready if someone jumps us, you know? Nineteen seventy three. Where was that door again? Was in here? Right? Oh. Here. 
Oh, schön. Und, nein. Ah, damit. Seven. Three. Yeah, man. Me so smart. You can put up the three items in your quick slots. I know. If you press one, you will equip the weapon in your first quick slot. I know. Hello? Exit. What the? What the hell? Look to the right. Oh, I don't want to. Who takes this? Who takes it us that? Unknown number. Hello? You can save your game at any location with a tape recorder. Ah, okay. This is where we save the game. You are allowed to save up to five individual saves for multiple playthroughs. Saving requires a tape in nightmare mode. We're not playing nightmare mode. Save game. Awesome. Press mouse 2 to perform a melee attack with your weapon. This will cause a small amount of damage to monsters in your immediate <coughs> vicinity. Use it to push attack enemies when surrounded or out of ammo. You have no gun, no ammo. Are we getting attacked by monsters now? I don't see shit. Hello? Is that blood on the floor? Christ, looks like it. What's going on? How the F did I even get here? Smack it! What the hell? Who was he? I don't know. I gotta call the police. Good idea. Damn it! No signal. Sucks. That's where we came from. There's nothing in here. Press E to climb ladders. Once on the ladder, use directional keys to climb and descend. Okay. And the monsters in here. Oh, right. I didn't see him. Die, bitch. Die, bitch. Can we take his hammer? Is it even better? No. Hopefully, the health regenerates itself. Or we'll need to find medikits. I don't know. Oh, shit. I didn't see you in the dark there. <laughs> Hi, bitch! Maybe we need to dodge, you know, <laughs> when he's hammering. 
Double tap directional keys or hold alt to dodge a specific direction. <laughs> yeah. Need to dodge them. Come on, man. And I'll dodge you. Oh, that didn't help. <laughs> okay. Almost dead. That's always nice. Oh no, we're dead. Can I get some first aid kit or something? Ah! Oh! Scared the shit out of me, dude. We're gonna die. But I think that will be it for episode number one from Cry of Fear. So if you'd like me to continue and finish this game, leave a comment down below and say hell yeah! And leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye bye.